We are here tonight because I'm going to tell you a tale of Bubba, the cowboy tr prince, as the fractured tech Ellen Ketterman. Can you guys see it good? Okay. This is a very funny story. And when I'm done, I'm going to ask you if this story reminds you of another story that we all have heard before in our childhood, okay? There once was a boy named Bubba, who lived in Texas, and he lived with his wicked stepdaddy and his two wicked icky brothers, Dwayne and Milton. Dwayne and Milton were the laziest, no good boys ever. And I'm kicking my nephew there because right. he's being annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and they lived on a big ranch in Texas. Now, Bubba's wicked stepdaddy worked him so hard, he worked them as hard as three ranch hands, but his lazy brothers did nothing all day long. They'd sit on their ponies and give Bubba directions. Bubba, get those doggies along there, or Bubba, don't you get in those mud pies, because you know how Papa doesn't like it when you track dirt in the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bubba, he didn't mind, because he was a sweet boy, and he loved ranching, so it really didn't bother him. Well, in the same county, there lived a pretty, a real pretty girl named Lurleen. Lurleen owned the largest cattle ranch in the county. She was the richest, prettiest girl. Lurleen felt like she needed a fella to share her love of ranching. So she decided to hold a ball. So she sent out all these invitations to all the ranches in the county. In fact, the whole state. So all these ranchers got these invitations, and they gussied up, and they were getting themselves ready. And at Bubba's place, his brothers were getting ready, and his wicked stepdaddy were getting ready, and they were bossing Bubba around. They said, Bubba, get our clean clothes. Bubba, shine our boots. Bubba, get the horses cleaned up. And Bubba was running around like a mad fool, trying to get all this work done. And he, of course, did a good job. And there they were looking really nice, and they headed off for Lurleen, Miss Lurleen's big ball. Now Miss Lurleen, all she wanted to meet was a nice fella who loved ranching as much as her, and it wouldn't it be nice if he was cute as a cow's ear too. Ooh. Well, <laughs> as uh, Bubba's brothers and his wicked stepdaddy were heading off, Bubba came running out and says, well, can't you wait for me to clean up? And they said, you can't come. You're, look at you. You're dirty. You're stupid. You're ugly. Look at those clothes. You stay home and watch the cows. Poor Bubba. He was sad, but he decided mm -hmm. that, um, okay, he loved ranches. So he hopped on his horse, and he headed out to the pastures to go check on the cattle. And on the way, a thunderstorm went through. <laughs> Texas has some dirty big thunderstorms. And a bolt of lightning came down from the sky and whap! And Bubba flew off his horse, and his horse flew off his horse. That's how big that lightning bolt was. Finally, Bubba sat up and shook his head, looked around, said, Well, I guess I better get up and get to work. So then Bubba stood up, and then he heard a horse, or he heard a voice. And he heard this voice say, You should go to the ball! And Bubba looks around. <laughs> Who said that? You didn't see anybody but cows. So Bubba said, I don't know. Ooh, that lightning sure took me for a ride. So Bubba he went over to gather his horse and he heard the voice again. You should go to the ball. He turned around. It was a cow. A cow was talking. He goes, are you talking? Bubba, he's just kind of thinking he's loopy. And the cow says, I said you should go to the ball. I am your fairy, fairy cow god and... I can help you go to the ball. <laughs> Bubba's like, look at my look at my clothes. They're torn and tattered. My, I can look at this hat. It's a dirty brown, beat up old hat. She said, I can take care of all that. He says, she goes, with her tail and Bubba. He's dressed in the most cowboy outfit that you ever saw. And his cowboy Stetson was a 30-gallon hat. And it was pure white, pure white like a brand new salt lick. So Bubba's like, woo, that's the best looking I've ever been. <laughs> but then he's like, I don't, look at my nag of a horse. I, that's all I got to write in there. 
and the fairy cow god went with her tail, and one of the cows turned into this big, huge, glorious white stallion horse. Bubbles like, woo! That's some horse. So Bubba hops on that horse, and off they gallop. Well, as he started to head out and gallop off, the cow fairy cow godmother says, "Oh, this magic runs out at midnight. You better be back." Well, Bubba, I don't think Bubba really heard that part. Off he rode. Well, it was almost midnight when he got to the ball by that time, and he jumped off his horse and he sauntered on into that there ball. And all those cowboys were looking at him like, who's that dude? I never saw that boy before. Who is that cowboy? And then Miss Lurleen was dancing and she saw him and stopped. And then Bubba went out there and says, whips off his hat and says, may I have this dance, Miss Lurleen? Miss Lurleen says, oh, I would love to. So they started dancing. Everybody, all those other cowboys were mad. Who is this? cowboy and all this gussied up stuff to walk in here at the last minute and steal their girl. Well, about five minutes of dancing, midnight came, and Bubba, who's dancing with Miss Lurleen, everything goes whoosh again. The fancy cowboy hat's gone. His beautiful, awesome cowboy clothes are gone, and he's left. He's in his tattered old jeans, his beat up oh. old boots, that icky brown cowboy hat, he looked dirt, he had dirt on his face. He probably had cow pies all over his boots. He was mortified. He turned and he ran to run out. And on the way out, he tripped and he, one of his boots came off. Wasn't much left of that boot to begin with, so it came off pretty easy. And he ran out there and his beautiful white stallion horse had turned back into a cow. Well, he hopped on that cow and he rode for home. <laughs> So Bubba got home, and he just went back to his way of life because he was like, well, I guess that was it. That was my only chance. Well, little did he know that Miss Lurleen, even though she saw what he had turned into, she still liked him, and she found that cowboy boot, and she decided she was going to find the cowboy who fit that cowboy boot. So she went around to all the different ranches looking for that cowboy, having cowboys try on that boot. You know what? Nobody fit that boot. Finally, she got to the wicked stepdaddy's ranch, and you know, poor Bubba, he was the only one working, so he was out in the fields working with the cattle, and there was Dwayne and Milton just sitting around doing nothing, being lazy as usual, and they said, oh, that's my boot, tried that boot on, of course, didn't fit, even wicked stepdaddy tried that boot, didn't fit, well, then Bubba, he came in to clean up and get some dinner, and he saw Miss Lurleen there, and Miss Lurleen saw him riding in on his old nag of a horse, and he only had one cowboy boot on, but he didn't have no spares. And she said, is this your boot? He says, well, yes, ma'am.